Welcome back to another video. We're gonna see how we can convert trace parts Katia V5 version compatibility. So we see over here we can download the files for either Katia V4 or Katia V5. I already download this model of the hinge. If I will go over here on my desktop, the trace part will be positioned over here. This will be the assembly, so I will drag and drop that within Katia. And I want to make this compatible with a previous version. So to do that, I will go up to Tools, Utility. Within the Utility section, we're going to search for the batch for backwards, downwards compatibility. So this will be that. We're going to see that the description will be downward compatibility between the most recent release. I will double click on that. And we have the possibility to do the conversion. We need to select the file version that we want to convert to. So for example, I will convert this to Katia V5 R18. Afterwards, we need to select the documents over here. So I will go over here for all. This will select everything within the same folder. And I know that on the desktop, I created the following folder, which is this one. And I will select the folder. I will click OK. And we're going to see the three components over here added. And afterwards, we need to set the output. The output, we're going to see that by default, it will go over here within uh, the local temporary file, but I will go over here and I will create a new folder. I will call this converted v 5 r 18 and I will select the folder. And afterwards, I will need to run this. You're going to see that the batch starter will, will run in the background. And now if I will go within the same folder, we're going to have the converted models over here. But if you're going to take a look over here, this will only be one kilobyte. So if I will open this, I have the possibility to open this within a browser. So I will use Brave in this case. And we're going to see that the target was set for Katia V5 R18. We have over here a minimal version to open the document. R21. We see that the document has been successfully processed, but the files have been added over here within the temporary uh, file. So we see the result over here. This is the, the file, the, the report but I will need to go within the temporary folder. And over here, I will find those three parts. So we see one all the way up to three. I will copy those and I will move them within the same folder as the, the results over here. And if I will drag and drop these models over here, we're going to see that they have been converted. Since they have been initially just uh, import as a solid. If I will check the original model from trace parts, we're going to see that um, we didn't have any history. So they were just um, some solid parts over here. So the same backwards compatibility in this case, if we no longer have that history, we can just save them as a step file and import those. But if you want to have them, them converted directly within Katia V5 and you don't want Katia to use the step importer to load those, you can use the utility function over here. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this kind of content. Consider to give this video a like and also to subscribe for more similar content like this. I'll also position a similar video on the left side and the subscribe button will be positioned to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.